guys, it's Kevin again, and um, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing to you the uh, mid-season premiere of The Fosters, Season 1, Episode 11, The Honeymoon. And um, probably the most emotional episode we've had of this show. There were so many emotional scenes. I, I couldn't get over how many emotional scenes there were for this episode. Lots of crying on this, on this episode, which was expected because of, I mean, what happened, but... Just wow, a lot of really big scenes in my opinion. Um, and it really shows that when somebody runs away, it's kind of like suicide where they start to blame themselves for it, which I'll get to. Um, but as we know, in case you don't know, um, the mid-season finale ended up with Callie running away, you know, from home. Uh, she ran away because she just couldn't take it anymore. And, um, we don't really know the real reason why she ran away. I, you know, we assume it was because of either Brandon or Jude. Uh, most likely Brandon because he tried to kiss her. Um, and he did kiss her. Um, not try to kiss her. He did kiss her. And that's why she ran away. She ran away Wyatt. And, um, they really have no idea that she's gone. They think she's just gone somewhere for a couple of days and she'll be back later. Um, so Steph and Lena, in the meantime, are on their honeymoon, and they're having a really nice time on their honeymoon. They decide to just relax, and, um, you know, we, we saw them on their honeymoon and everything, and they're enjoying breakfast, and they're talking a lot about, uh, regarding wedding dis decoration cleanup, and Lexi going on this two-week, uh, Honduras trip, and, um... So Brandon wants to know where Callie is, and Jude says, oh, she's at a guitar lesson, don't worry, she'll be fine. Um, and we know she's actually, though, on the run with Wyatt, and Wyatt wants to know, um, you know, the big thing is, Wyatt wants to know why she's running away. He doesn't really know the reason why, and she really does not give him an answer beyond, I need to be in charge of my own life for once, um, and, uh, that's what she decides to do, is that she wants to be in charge of her own life. So at some point, um, they, at some point on their road trip, uh, Callie and Wyatt, they pull over to the, to check out a UFO crash site, and he, green snow cones there, and, um, they talk about, you know, they talk about, uh, time travel and everything, and, and this is actually a, a cool side of Wyatt, I actually do like this. So Brandon then has this heart-to-heart -heart with Jude, and, uh, Jude is basically saying, um, you ruin every, you're gonna ruin everything for our adoption, uh, because of, uh, Br for, because of Brandon. And uh, Brandon's like, but what about Wyatt? Wyatt's the one who's running away, everything. And Jude tells Brandon that Brandon's like Liam. And Brandon gets mad and says, I'm nothing like Liam. I love Callie and everything. And um, that really was not the right thing to say because as soon as he says that, Jude walks away. And obviously Jude is, is not happy about this. So Steph's mom uh, bought Steph and Lena a remote-controlled bed. It looks like two fancy hospital beds that were pushed together. And she shows the beds to Jude. Jude hopes on one side of the bed, and Steph's mom hands him this remote control. And Jude folds himself up in the bed and yells, I'm a taco. I thought that was definitely funny. Um, that was definitely a good way to provide some comic relief in the show. Definitely one of the funniest moments we've had. So Jude notices um, that Callie's guitar is actually still in the house and he pieces things together and he realizes she ran away and he tells everyone doing work and uh, he's doing work. So Wyatt receives this phone call from Callie's phone and it's Lena. She leaves this voicemail asking him to contact her if he knows anything. Um, so they, Wyatt looks very torn and um, Wyatt and Callie share the hotel room. They snuggle and uh, they, they, they're snuggling up and everything. And uh, they're, they're in the hotel room, and uh, Brandon's about to lose his mind. Um, and at this point, though, I'd actually like to see Callie with Wyatt. They really, I think, uh, made Wyatt a better character overall. And I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to show that Callie and Wyatt actually are a very good couple, and they are very cute together, and that we should root for them. Which I am at this point. I think they're actually very good together, and I really do like um, the relationship that they have. So Wyatt goes uh, to gas up the car, he walks through this hotel parking lot, and there's Steph and Lena catching him, and uh, Wyatt called Steph and Lena. He called them. They did not call them, he called them, so he definitely did the right thing, and he's definitely, you know, he did the right thing for that. Um, so Callie spots them from the hotel room, she escapes, and she hitchhikes a ride with this truck driver. So before they can get to her, she runs on the truck, and uh... Steph and Lena at this point are just searching around for Callie. They're driving around and Lena's like, are we just going to drive around for her in a circle? 
And you know, at this point, when that happens, you really don't know what else to do. Now, as this is going on, Mike is actually taking care of the kids. Um, you know, he's taking care of Brandon, Mariana, Jesus, and Jude. And Brandon and Jude are totally bugging over Callie's disappearance. But Mariana and Jesus are preoccupied with the Lexi thing, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but, um... Brandon tells Jude he actually assumed Callie ran away because she wanted to be with Wyatt, but now he understands Callie left because she was running away from him. And Jude cries because he thinks Callie left because of all the truth bombs he lobbed her away. And, um, you know, this is what I was talking about. When someone runs away, you start to blame yourself, you start to blame other people. It, it can really affect a lot of people. So I really like that they're showing this because it is true. When someone runs away, you basically start to blame yourself and other people. And just, you start to blame everybody around you, um, you know, for her running away. So she catches this bus and she stays in there till the end of the line. And uh, she gets off the bus and there's no one really on the bus. Uh, we see her there and she, there's no one on the bus. She gets off the bus and she sees these prostitutes. Now, I thought something bad was going to happen to her, but that's not happening at all. Actually, this woman encouraged her. And I, I gotta say that the woman who played the prostitute actually did a really nice job, I think. I think this was a really great scene. Uh, she offers her a place to stay. Callie declines. She asks if she can borrow her phone. And she uses it to call. Um, and she basically, the prostitute says she was like her one. She knows what she's doing. And um, Callie borrows her phone. And she calls the prison because that's where her father is. So that's the real reason why she left. She wants to find out more about her father and everything. But she finds out that her father was released over a year ago and never told her. So now she's really screwed over. And she doesn't know what else to do. She goes into this um, convenience store. She's eating only snacks and drinks and everything. And uh, she, you know, without paying. The store clerk is basically saying, stop it. Get out of my store. I'll call the cops. She doesn't stop. And they call the cops. So obviously, Callie wanted to go to jail. And I think it's because she doesn't know where else to turn at this point. You know, she doesn't want to go home, obviously. Because that's not going to work out well for her. And she doesn't want to, and I just, I really love this plot of us basically seeing Callie um, be her own person and you make her own decisions for herself. And I really do like that. I also really like the development in Wyatt. I like that we see more of Wyatt and more of his character. I, I really enjoyed that about this episode. The only other thing we have to talk about is Lexi. Now, Lexi, as we know, we don't know what's happening with Lexi. And, um... Jesus at this point just thinks Lexi is going to go away with her parents for a couple of weeks and then she'll come back. But that's not what's happening at all. Because Mariana um, is talking to her teacher and says, oh, I'm going to do the project with Lexi. But he says, oh, Lexi's not coming back. She's not coming back to school. She's leaving. And it turns out that she's actually leaving permanently. And um, I really liked Jesus's speech to Lexi. It really was a, a nice touching speech in my opinion. He says to her how he will wait for her. He's not going to, you know, dread over this. He will wait for her and they will stay in touch. So I really did like that about the scene. And I'm glad, I really do hope Lexi comes back at some point. I'm glad she will. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that they're going to stay in touch. But I, I think she will come back eventually. So yeah, overall, a fantastic premiere. I thought there was nothing wrong with it. There's some really great scenes in here, especially the ones with Callie and Wyatt. I thought they had a lot more chemistry this season than last season. Last season they were good, but I really am, I mean, I'm really loving them this half of the season. I think they're really going to start to show that Wyatt's actually a very good guy for Callie because they're gonna, they're starting to show Brandon kind of going against Brandon, which is fine because at this point everyone was with Brandon. Now they're showing Wyatt to be actually this very lovable guy, and he really is a, this great, he really is a he had some some of the best lines in the episode you know about the ufos and things like that there's a really funny scene where they're in bed and he never slept he just had some really funny scenes and he did the right thing and called steph and lena so will steph and lena find callie why is callie going to jail you know what's the whole reason for that um why did her father not tell her he was released from prison that was one of the biggest shockers of the entire episode i was so shocked when i found that out. i'm like how do you not tell your child you were released from prison? Like, seriously. Uh, how do you not tell them? Um, and also, who who do you think is to blame for her actually running away? Brandon or Jude? 
I, I want I want to know what you guys think. Brainerd dude, who's who's responsible for her running away? Will we see Lexi again? I don't know. Um, anything else you guys want to say about the episode? Again, perfect episode in my opinion. Nothing wrong with it. I thought it was a really great episode. I actually like this one a little bit more than the finale. I thought the finale was good, but I like this one more. That's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.